Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to One Away Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus. And let me jump into this real quick. If you're new here, consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the content. This channel is for the gamers, baby, where the gamers have a voice. Now, if you've been watching my YouTube channel on a regular and you haven't been getting alerted from when I'm putting up brand new videos every day, you're going to have to check and see if you hit that bell button because YouTube, once again, is tripping. And consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the content. I bring fresh news daily. And now with gaming on the channel even more live. Game night, game day with lemon and friends. Doesn't matter. This is how we do. Let's jump into this new gaming news. This has been an, an, a great announcement that I want to bring up. The Witcher series has sold over 33 million copies globally. By the end of 2017, CD Projekt Red has announced. Now, let me tell you about this series if you don't know about it. My boy Geralt is a bad man. He hunts down many different types of beasts, enemies, open world situation. Next to Grand Theft Auto, I think this series has been underrated in terms of the quality of the sandbox gameplay if you haven't jumped on the witcher go check out all three versions they definitely something to get into facts now you dead by daylight fans you want to appreciate this information here you're getting a new progression system new killers and more Behavior Interactive has shared its plans for its multiplayer horror game, Dead by Daylight, in 2018. And as you know, your boy Lemon always enjoys new DLC. It refreshes the game. We began the game with 30 developers and now up to 75. Now, mind you, this is a game that was small, that's grew, that has grown, let me say. According to the new roadmap release, players have four new survivors, four new killers, four new maps, a new ranking system with more meaningf meaningful rewards, a new progression system that will let players earn non-licensed killings by playing the game to look forward to. This is what I'm talking about. For you Dead by Daylight fans, this is great news. Look forward into jumping into that content. And enjoy the show, baby. Facts. Now, and more gaming news. Now, you know I'm looking forward to that game, Detroit Becomes Human. But Quadic Dreams has released a new trailer for Detroit Becomes Human. Focusing on the three main characters. I said three main characters? This is crazy. This is what I'm talking about. I thought we were going to play one character and go between the game. But no, we're going to be going through three main characters. First up is Connor. He's a prototype android named RK800 who was created by Cyberlife. He can assist a human and detectives in the investigation. That was the main one he'd been showing off. That's the guy, that's the one I guess is shooting that guy off the roof at E3 when they did display it. Next up is Marcus, a model RK200 Android who belongs to the celebrated painter Carl Manfred. Carl treats Marcus as if he were human, teaches him to paint, and eventually, eventually comes to think of him as a son. Now, this look like this game. They have been, <coughs> excuse me, going, this sounds like they're going deep into these characters. And finally, we have Kara. This is the one with the crazy damn father killing his daughter i told you that's the main re reason for me getting this game we gonna get that dude out of here she's an android that's ax400 a domestic domestic assistant model android created by cyberlife ax400s are common models designed to perform housework and look after children with the ability to speak 300 different languages now let me tell you about this game this game launches March 25th and 
it's like a telltale game on steroids and i'm looking for this type like a heavy rain game and which i enjoy because of the story based telling in those games are fantastic so look forward to this game in me check it out looks like we'll have three major characters and hopefully they drop some content that can go along with this game which would be major facts now let's jump into this nintendo switch news on something that was highly needed but it definitely has drawbacks as you see here the nintendo switch has a third party controller joy-con rather from the manufacturer ori now you're saying man i see the d-pad that is welcome but yeah many people have been saying that the directional buttons on the nintendo version of their joy cons needed a d-pad while the plus shaped d-pad has been fairly standard for nintendo controllers a current official joy con on the switch instead of having four separate directional buttons for certain games especially fighting games many fans prefer old-fashioned d-pad design ori a third-party accessory maker is now creating a left joy con for the old school with the old school d-pad this is some of the drawbacks it doesn't work in local multiplayer the controller itself is also missing functions of the standard joy cons there's no hd rumble and no gyro scope first of all this is a good idea now the drawbacks seem to be major but nintendo if you're listening look at this design and add this to the switch's arsenal because that d-pad or directional buttons are terrible games like street fighter everybody cannot play those games with analog sticks i know i can't so ori gave it an effort they are not they, the product is not licensed by nintendo so they couldn't do all those extra features that's why it's missing it so nintendo pay attention do what your fans want. You're selling enough switches? Get that left Joy-Con popping and put the directional pad on it. Now into more news. Now this game here is for the hardcore crowd. I remember I held on to my PlayStation version of this game where it got up to the point where it was worth $500. And yes, I still own this game. Just waiting for it to come out on a new system. Zone of Enders 2 Remaster has been delayed. Now, this game is originally supposed to launch this spring, but now will arise, uh, arrive in September. Konami has a new trailer for the original PlayStation 2 version of the game, which was updated last gen, but it will be updated to 4K resolutions and a first person vr mode now this game will launch on playstation 4 and pc and playstation vr this will be a welcome addition but i'm disappointed that this game will be pushed back to spring uh to september but i just wanted to let y'all people know that the game is still coming it's still going to be amazing and i'm definitely going to be picking this up this will be one of them playstation exclusives that i'll be bragging about that only maybe like 500,000 of us care about. But this game was definitely awesome. Look forward to that. And if anything else comes out about this game, I will keep you updated. And our last bit of news today. That zombie game, DayZ, will be hitting game preview like PUBG did later on this year. DayZ's developer has went on to speak about the game and they showed it at GDC and the game is running from 50 to 60 frames right now and future will support 4k 30 resolution and frame rate in the future now for those who don't know about this game it's a PUBG like game that has zombies in the factor and it's like an open world game and you group up with people and you also battle other people and npc zombies that's what i'm talking about if you was looking forward to this game this is the information you might be looking for now that's all the news i have for you today always check out the content and please it is greatly appreciated to like and subscribe 
I will see you on the GRG podcast with the family over there. Check it out, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on my man K-Mega's channel, K-Mega 405. We'll be talking in that podcast, covering many subjects during the past week. Very interesting, very good, very intuitive podcast. And I'm out, cheese.